Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time again it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. It's related to the dedicated video for the detailed review of the latest version that is 059. So hopefully this will help for all the users who have either installed it or who are eagerly waiting for the FOTA update or who hasn't tested the uh, like full update yet. If you want the videos on that, uh, we will be posting that in the description below and you can uh, yeah, like you can uh, like you can review those uh, videos from your end and you can uh, see if those are helpful, helpful at your side and if you, if you want to install those updates manually from your side. Now let's move to the agenda of today's meeting that is a dedicated review or a detailed review of the latest version. So firstly before we jump into the other parts let's discuss about the change log. For that I will be moving to my blog for that I have already opened that in my Chrome browser. So again, uh, if you will be needing this uh, this URL for the uh, like this blog URL, we will be posting this in the description below as well. So again, this is related to FOTA update. So technically, it, it was an update of 61.4 MB or you can say 61.39 MB, which will upgrade your phone to the version 059. And this was only available for the users who were at version 058. Now the change log. So the very first change log was the October 29 security patch. So uh, Asus has patched this particular, uh, uh, like uh, amended this particular update with this particular security patch. Apart from this, they have fixed Qualcomm security issue, which we will discuss afterward. And third one was the launcher issue. So for the launcher issue, there were some users in Asus community. They were uh, complaining that whenever they were pressing, they were going, doing back but uh, 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 yeah, they were not able to see recent files and so on. So there were some launcher issues so that have they, they have uh, resolved it. Now let's discuss about the Qualcomm security issue. So basically this security issue was I think found in the month of March or April uh, 2019 by a researcher. So it was a foreign researcher. So the, uh, according to that particular bug, uh, Qualcomm has uh, given an ID that security bug with CVE 2018-11976 can enable an attacker to gain access to your private data and even encryption key stored in the Qualcomm security execution environment. And apart from that, Qualcomm has also passed the flaw earlier this month by tagging it as a critical one. So this was a critical one. That's why we got the uh, uh, like we got the consecutive updates. Uh, from the uh, ASUS side earlier it was in September and we just got in October with this patch. So if you want to know more about this particular security issue we have uh, also mentioned the URL below you can go it. Uh, it's from gadgets.ndtv.com and you can review it at your end uh, in, in detail. <clears throat> now let's move to the other parts. So the, now we'll discuss about the what's the best things in this particular uh, version update. Do you want to update it or not? So at the very first instance yes you, you should update it in whatever update you whatever version you are in pi if you are in oreo then it's your wish whether to update to the pi update or not but uh, for the version 58 one you should because uh, the audio from the headphones are really good now it's been tremendously high as compared to the uh, previous versions and apart from this uh, like uh, somewhat better ram management is being uh, shown in this particular update as well although ram was always good like ram management was also good but uh, I have seen like I have ran multiple games like Call of Duty and uh, what, uh, another game like uh, uh, PUBG players and so on. So it was meant, uh, able to maintain it properly. So technically RAM management is good now as compared to previous version. And although those were the complaints from the ASUS community, I haven't found that particular problem at my end, but I have seen that that it's good now. And apart from this, uh, for the uh, battery drainage, I won't say that it's completely com uh, resolved, but it has somewhat decreased now. Like earlier, if in the outnet it was uh, dr uh, draining nearly about three to four percent, now it's been nearly about one to two percent. And hopefully, in the coming months with the consecutive update, this particular problem will also be resolved. Uh, there is one uh, another thing related to slow charging. So any user who is facing slow charging issue, I, I would say they should uh, change their USB cable first. If 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 it that, that doesn't help then they should uh, look for the equivalent uh, charger which can charge our phone. Again, if that is the same problem with them, then they should go to the ASUS center and uh, uh, like they can uh, ask them that uh, and they can look into the concerned issue. And apart from this, uh, like the things which I won't say these are bugs, these are basically limitation. Very first thing, camera to probe API is not enabled yet. So let me show you that. 
so before updating to uh, before updating to version 059 i was in 058 i was in legacy after updating to 059 i'm again in legacy so it's really disgusting that asus is not providing this minor thing and apart from this we are again like we uh, they haven't passed with the native video calling and it's been lacking and now you can even imagine it's near nearly about a nil chance that we will be getting this particular update uh, in terms of camera to prob api and native video calling now next part would be that uh, related to performance so for that i have already ran few uh, benchmark scores and i have already gathered a stipulated data for the same and we'll discuss that so very first thing is related to n to 2 scores so it's a comparison between version 058 and 059 so again like as i as i said that memory management is good uh, so you can view uh like it's hardly a change of 6958 and 6957 so it doesn't even uh sometime i don't think these benchmark scores really matter but just from a, a like it's been always says that what's your n to 2 benchmark scores and so on so let's start with the overall it it has somewhat decreased even in cpu it has somewhat decreased even in ux it has somewhat decreased in memory management it has just decreased one point in gpu it has also decreased some point Uh, no sorry in uh, gpu it has increased earlier it was 21351 now it's 21389 so it's always a uh, like trade off sometime it's increase and sometime and it usually depends upon your memory uh, sorry on the uh, model or the phone model as well so for this particular power uh, like uh, performance thing we are using 6 gb variant with 64 gb uh, storage now it's related to geekbench force again we have some stipulated result for the single core now it's have been increased earlier it was showing 1304 now it's showing 1334 even in multi core earlier it was showing 4355 now it's showing 4863 even in render script it's been increased like 3999 earlier and now it's 4257 so again one can say that why it was showing less in enter to and why it's showing uh, more in geek page 4 so again it's the algorithm and it usually depends on the uh, uh, like various things now the last thing is related to geek bench 5 scores even it has increased in all of uh, overall like in single core earlier it was 270 now it's 275 uh, in earlier in multi core it was 1130 now it's 1179 earlier using compute using open cl api it was showing 427 it's hardly a increase of one so it's again an improvement of 1.428 using vulkan api for compute it was showing 253 earlier and now it has been decreased to 251 so it's always a trade off trade trade off like sometime you will see but uh, i would really say i have rigorously uh, played pubg and call of duty and i have played really well there was no lag so tremendously this particular update uh, update has provided uh, re- really good result and apart from this uh, firstly i want to thanks all my subscribers that we have just crossed the mark of 400 subscriber counts it's all your love support and subscription that we have came to this part just in a span of 10 months it will be really great if you will uh, support us and uh, subscribe to our channel it's for the new new viewers or who hasn't subscribed yet and apart from this in the coming days we will be coming with the custom room related things for that we will be creating uh, each and every detailed video like how to unlock bootloader how to restore and so on how to install custom trp w recovery and so on and we we will just need your help please mention in this uh, comments below that uh, which custom room do you want to use or do you want to show in our review and uh, uh, and so on and we will try our best to uh, provide you each and every bit so it was all from our side related to this detailed review of version 059 hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks